Welcome everyone, this is Dom, and this is Feed the Beast, Minecraft. Woo! Yeah, it's been quite a while since I played Feed the Beast uh, on camera. So we are starting up again, and I have, uh, oh, let's change this. Oh, there, there, there we go, okay. There we go, okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> This is the Happy Diggers Amp mod pack on the Happy Diggers Amp server. The mod pack is public and it is on the Feed the Beast launcher using the Happy Diggers Amp private code. All the information will be on the Happy Diggers website. Link will be in the description. So, uh, we have been playing on the server since we've been testing out the 1.6 or I think that's what we're on yeah 1.6 version of amp uh, so we have lots of progress uh, this is the what I call the combined base this is insane J Sferf, and Mupia. they're all use this base and I've helped you know kind of barely in this base um, they like to uh, build stuff together, which is excellent, and they get a lot of progress done really fast. And I like to uh, kind of build on my own to kind of, I don't know, make it more interesting for you guys. So today is just going to be a server tour, and then next episode, which will be in the, the future, will be, uh, you know, uh, catching up to what I'm going to be doing. So let's first start with spawn. Uh, we had moved spawn from our from the original location, which was some random location in this general area, to right here with the chunk loader behind it. A lot of these uh, what I call public structures were built in creative mode. Uh, number one to look at uh, the blocks themselves and figure out you know what looks good together, and number two because might as well because it is a server that a lot of people play on you know off and on. So right now I'm the only one on, uh, but that's just because I am. Uh, it's kind of late uh, compared to European time, well, most of the European time. So most of them, it's like midnight or later over there. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I built my turtle again from the last server. We built this turtle, well, very, very similar. Uh, the last time you guys saw a Happy Diggers Amp episode, uh, we built a turtle very similar. This is a lot of trees in front, and that's because I had a tree farm running here, and that basically I shut off. <laughs> so we rebuilt the turtle, and we put the I put a my flashy lights back on. So let's go ahead and turn those on for now. My Cylon lights. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Um, and as you can tell, there's a bunch of random blocks kind of around in places. That's because tornadoes have come through here recently. And Jay has fixed up the terrain, but obviously hasn't fixed up my base or any of the random blocks that have been thrown around from tornadoes. There, is torna there are tornadoes in this mod pack. So, so uh, let's see what else there is. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the combined base, which I helped uh, start off and then kind of didn't play for quite a while. So this is not the main entrance. That's the bottom entrance. So this is their, uh, one of their many farms. I don't know how any of it works. I haven't looked at it for quite a while. Looks like they're using ooh, really, really loud rotary craft machines. Uh, this is a Oh, it looks like the Steve's card is gone, but this is a Steve Steve's card's uh, wheat farm. It kind of goes around and harvests it and plant it, plants it by itself. It's pretty nice. This looks like to be a mine factory reloaded. Yep. Reed farm. Pretty cool. Uh, they are, uh, if, if you guys want to keep up on any of the stuff uh, that's happening at the combined base over here, or the team base, I would check out Insane Jay's videos, and the link will pop up right now. Ding! There it is. That's uh, Insane Jay's 
channel. He has all the videos um, that would pertain to this one. Ooh, what does this bring me to? This looks fun. Mechanism teleporter frame. Ooh, cool, they have a teleporter. Well, anyways, I haven't been in the space for quite a while, so uh, their plan is to whoa, make lots of noise. Uh, <laughs> Their plan is basically to hit as many mod packs, uh, sorry, as many mods as they possibly can uh, while creating more or less a factory atmosphere uh, and coming, basically getting to end game kind of machines um, by all means. So, for example, they are going to be using all types of electricity, all types of energy production, collection, along those lines, whether they be very cheap and uh, kind of useful for starters or uh, very expensive. For example, the ultimate hybrid solar panels uh, is another good example of a later game, an expensive product. So they're kind of using a combination of everything to get the job done. For example, this I think is from Big Reactors. Yep, uh, Reactor Craft. Sorry, Reactor Craft stuff. So the guys are kind of working on everything all at once and uh, it's really fun. This is Mupia's base up here. This is all her Thomcraft, and I think this is all Thomcraft stuff over here. Not entirely sure. Thomcraft and bee stuff. I don't know what kind of biome this is or what's happening, why it looks like this. Never looked into that stuff. And uh, she's basically the bee master. She loves her bees, magical crops, and Thomcraft stuff. We are now allowed to use Thomcraft in our public mod pack, so we have been taking advantage of that uh, to be distributing it. Uh, there's a few mods we use in our server that we cannot distribute in the pack, so uh, like I said, information on everything is on the website in the description. So uh, let's go ahead and check down here. There's also a very uh, another very active member of our community and my chunks aren't loading because I'm recording. I think this is part of his or Jay's maybe, not sure. Um, but uh, the other very active member of the Feed the Beast community is Eth. Uh, he is one of uh, the very active members in the Feed the Beast server here and this is his uh, club Eth. This is like a more of less a, a lot of Tropicraft uh, kind of style building and uh, there's you know you can come here for your cocktails and your I think there's pina coladas being sold somewhere Ooh, he's giving away something in a purple jar Jay is but yeah so that's kind of uh, what's going on here uh, there's also uh, eat space which actually I'm going to show off let's go ahead and hit the warp for that Here we go, boop boop, and here's his base for you. This is the front entrance. Eats a great guy, so I like to show off his stuff. And um, originally he was building uh, with creative mode, and you know, just kind of helping us try stuff out. And then uh, he decided to go completely legit and build everything uh, by himself. So let's take a look at his stuff, because I always like to snoop. What is this? Thom I have no clue. Something about Thomcraft. And looks like there's furnaces in there. Pretty cool. Here's another one. Oh, this is what the farm back at the team base looked like uh, when it's actually running. There's like a harvester that kind of goes around by itself. Uh, and it harvests anything that's fully grown, replants, and drops off and picks up either fuel or something along those lines. Um, obviously, it keeps everything hydrated as well. It's another function of that. Let's see if there's actually an entrance to his base somewhere. I don't think so. Oh, look, there's a teleporter. Maybe that's where the teleporter goes. Who knows? I can't get in there, though. Anyways. Oh, it's a tank. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and head back to my base. Oops. And uh, we run our server on MCPC Plus, which, ooh, man, 
lots of lag, which, is allow, which allows us to use bucket plugins like uh, Essentials, which we are using for the warps in home. Uh, there we are. And uh, like I said, this is the turtle, the turtle base. But what we got going for us so far, and everything in here is basically brought from the last base, except for this burnt quartz right here. I thought that looked really cool, so I used it, spawned it in in creative mode. Everything else kind of came with the, from the last base I put in a chest uh, before we switch maps. And uh, we have elevators down to what I call the the dungeon, which will not be the dungeon for a while. I mean, very soon in the series. Which kind of has the preliminary machines that I've been using to gather my all my legit resources. You know, uh, all the ores and here's all my fuel and my ingots and such. And it looks like my steel's done, which is excellent. There we go. Uh, this steel is going to be very important in the next episode because we're going to be looking into uh, basically starting our own business, more or less, or starting our own endeavor. And it's going to be based around this plant right here, the hop vine from Growth Craft, growth craft, <laughs> growth craft Hops. So uh, we're going to be starting up a beer business. And uh, not just beer, but we're going to do beer, food, wine, anything that involves food and wine. And uh, we're going to go into business selling it to Ethan over there. He's going to provide us with gold. Uh, he's going to be selling all of his stuff at Club ETH. And I will be cashing in on just providing it, not selling it. So that's going to be nice. And the gold is going to be used. I wonder how much gold I actually have. I only have 25 gold. Gold is used for a lot of computer craft stuff, which I basically use for everything, as you can tell. Um, all this stuff will be wired and running at one point. I just haven't uh, had the drive to play on the server. So that's going to be it for uh, this intro video to the new series. As you can tell, it looks like the server might be... or maybe that was just me. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, the server is... Uh, very populated, uh, you know, there's a few things I haven't hit, uh, but this is just our private community. Uh, like I, it's like it says in the description though, this is a private community and it's invite only, don't ask to apply, etc. Um, I will be recording on here sparingly, so not entirely on a regular basis. Uh, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.